All right, there you guys. We're back at Yogi Instinct, and we have more awesome rare Beyblades unboxing going on. So get started because this is gonna be lit, and by lit, it's actually gonna be lit. So the first thing I'm gonna start up with is Jigers or Geigers, whichever way you wanna call it. Uh, but Jigers is what I call. And Jigers looks awesome. I mean, look at that hunk of muscle that you have right here. And the free spinning Beyblade, my goodness. And the only engine gear Beyblade that really lives up to its name. Why? Because look at the damn size of the Bey. And then we do have fan favorite and not so performance wise good, but fan favorite Dragoon Galaxy. It's got some great attacks, but trust me, if you put it in right spin, it will attack even wider, you know, because Plastic Generation was more of the contact point side, and it was using the corners to attack actually, but imagine if this goes in right spin, it's actually gonna attack, just like Valkyrie does, because look at those spikes, and this one comes with a magnet disc, so I'm gonna have to change that, a working engine gear, what else can I ask for? Now let's move on to its evolution, which is, uh, okay, not an evolution, I would say, but another uh, Dragoon Galaxy that I got. I wanted to have more than one, like three at least, at the very least, to make sure that, you know, uh, I have enough Dragoon Galaxy, so that's there. Let me just pull it up and assemble, and as you all know, Dragoon Galaxy comes with a special engine gear which is left spinning and it's in red in color so there you go but this left spin engine gear is like initiated right away so as soon as you launch it goes straight into battle so it kind of uses your stamina in the very beginning not like bronzers where you use them I mean, like very last and i do got the Drasil g as well here as you can see it's got a pink disc in there that's the only reason i got it because I wanted that pink disc. Like, look at that. That looks so crazy, right? I mean, it's kind of really awesome that the disc is in there and it's fully circular. Probably I'm gonna use it on Wolborg later, but it's so good in the pink color that I may not even use it. Who knows? Maybe. But it looks perfectly circular right there, and it looks awesome, heavy at the same time. And the engine gear is already there. Kind of free spin. Why is it free spin? Maybe the engine gear is broken on this one. Let me just unlock. Oh, now it does. Now it works. Okay. So there is that. It actually works. I had to pull the, you know, clips on the sides because that's how it works. Then I do got my own Tri Gator. Look at that. It did, you know, it did come up with like a different color base, but it's kind of okay for me because. Uh, you know, I mainly wanted the AR in such a mint condition and that's what I got. I'll obviously find an orange base soon and I complete this bay. Uh, that's not a very hard thing, but you can see I have another one right there as well. But there you go. Two Trigators. Uh, third actually. I already have the green jungle version. And moving on forward, we do get this. Let's open it. So as you can see, this is the third Trigator that I have right here. There's a Drawn V2 and a base all mixed up, but don't worry, we've got it. Another orange Galleon. That is awesome. Cool, cool. And what else do I have? The Black Trigger S. That looks crazy sick. I will definitely need a black base and feel good about that. Perfect, right? I love it. I, I actually love it, honestly. Moving on forward, we do have a, as I said, I needed a Wilborg AR. Now I have it. There you go. Perfect. Looking right there. The base will be used for some other bay. And none other than your Killer Eagle. As you can see, the bay it looks pretty sweet in green color. The base is not an exact match, but it's kind of a working ado, so it, it works. It's not really bad. I'll get the, uh, you know, I already have the base 
so I'll put it with one more so why not have two killer eagles like that maybe I'll put it like a metal trigger base with an engine gear and make it like killer eagle G that would sound cool okay let me pull up some more common bays that we have from HMS so as you can see first things first the most important part an HMS launcher if you want one for Voldemort let me know and we do have a winder let's open them later but first let's go about this Einstein MS blue version with the case looking sweet and I couldn't really I wanted to first do this in a, like a proper fashion so I'll just showcase the last two bays there's Dragoon MS and Dragoon MS UV I can hardly call it a difference because it's just that the tips get changed the first thing that's the first clear difference the wings stay the same but become a little heavier and then the attack ring gets a dragoon head added to the AR on the corners and it becomes a little sharper on the edges but that's it there's hardly any difference you know if you give it to a normal guy he'll say it's the same Beyblade very very minor details to the ultimate version so uh, you know it, it could have been a something major there but this is it for today guys I hope you all like this video make sure you do leave a like comment below tell me how it was if you liked it all make sure you share it but do leave a comment below and a like i'll see you all very soon around the corner on yogi and steak see you